out with Anti Clone backstage at Amplified. How's it going, guys? Very splendid. You just came off stage. How are you feeling right now? Uh, very good. He loves sneaking into these, doesn't he? Uh, <laughs> every time we come off stage, it's. I don't even know how to describe it. You, you have to do it to really understand, but I feel good. Yeah. And that's an understatement and a word that shouldn't really be used. So on the flip side, what do you feel like just before you go on? Um, to be fair, I, I just get a, a sense of anticipation, really. I mean, I'm just, I like to play. I get on, I want to play, I want to mm -hmm. fuck shit up. Um, I just want to, oh, that's beef, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah I just want, I just get into the groove. I just want to smash stuff up. I mean, unfortunately today, my wireless system wasn't working. Um, I had to buy a new plug for it because very glamorously I broke it. Um, and the fucking plug didn't work, so it was just kind of like, oh, oh well. And this so, isn't the problems with Lamb Day. <laughs> my, my problems are paramount. It was good. We we uh, very much enjoyed it. I um, was standing at the side of stage. I felt the um, I felt the passion. I felt the passion. I felt everything. Um, while you're on stage and performing, how does that feel? It seems like a blur most times. Um, like my good friend Lam said, there's an anticipation that builds before you go on, like a nervous energy. And then when you go on, I don't know, it's just a big blur. And it feels like you've been on that stage for a few seconds and then all of a sudden it's over. So I don't know, I can't, I can't describe it. It's the best feeling in the world. That's a pretty good description, isn't it? Um, the preparation um, for you then, obviously, you, I've got to say, can I just say, the best smelling band here. You wouldn't know to look at them, but they smell the best. I smell good. I smell like, like Gucci. Like, that is so clean. Don't smell lamb. Um, <laughs> I, I, I am fresh. That's so I'm clean. Fresh. fresh and wesh. Fresh and wesh. So the preparation involved then, the, the sta stage gear, um, what, tell, talk us through it. So, I mean, do you mean the prep for like just before we go on? Or just, you like need, just in general? The, you didn't just get those clothes out of the wardrobe. No, well, no. I mean, th 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 this is kind of the outfit we wear through the whole album cycle. So we get the masks done, we get the clothes done, and they pretty much stay static. So when we go on tour, it's pretty gross. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, these have been the, the, about a year, is it? A year and a half? Uh, yeah, since Bloodstock. Since Bloodstock, yeah, this has been the outfit, so. Uh, yeah, we, we, we make all our own stuff, uh, bar the masks, which we get made by varying different things. And, and Lamb did actually make his own mask. Um, but yeah, we just kind of decide what we want and it's all individual. And you get it washed and spruced up. Oh yeah, because I smell great. Because you do. We're a, a sweaty, smelly bunch of guys. You know, you, when, you, when you get leaving it sort of balls out on the stage, it's gonna, you're gonna get smelly. So, I mean, when you've been in a band with the same three guys for three days with no showers, it smells pretty grim. <laughs> I mean, like this weekend, we got to Sunday, we were like, we need to stop the service, we need to wash. We need to wash. And, you know, it was just, after that, it's like a feeling of just sort of, you ascend, you suddenly, you've washed a load of grime out and you're like, oh, we are fresh and wesh again. <laughs> and then, <laughs> we are wesh. And then, it, it feels like once you wash all the, the shit out, it just sort of, it starts a new cycle and you can just start, and you can make it smell like shit again. So it's... I like how there's some profound reason for washing clothes and it does something, <laughs> but okay. You smell good. That was the point of that question. <laughs> Wash your fucking clothes. <laughs> it's good. So what is next for Anti-Clone? So we're currently writing new material. Um, we're gonna release one more video uh, from The Root of Man, which is our debut album. Um, once that's released, we will start really working on new stuff, new videos, go into the studio. Um, so yeah, there's, there's going to be new, new, a lot of new stuff coming from us soon. Um, final words about your amplified performance here today and your experience, please. It, it was great. I came to this festival n not knowing what to expect. The setup's phenomenal. Yeah, the weather's kind of real shat on it, but the people were there. They were at the front. That they were moshing, going crazy. So, yeah, I, it, it was great. It was great. Yeah, just again, same as little Mr. Clone said. Really, it was just 
we knew that obviously they'd had some problems with the weather yesterday. Um, again, coming not to know what to expect and just came in. People, again, to their credit, have just come out, stood out in the pissing rain at points during the day and have just given it their all. And that's, I think, it, it sort of typifies that sort of mentality that really fortifies, what really sort of like solidifies people's dedication to a festival. I mean, you see it at download year in, year out, people standing in their tens of thousands in the, the torrential downpours and you just think, there's no other reason why people would do that, apart from that festival atmosphere. There's no fans like clones. And what? you got them, you got them down, and you got them up again. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do cheesy festival stuff while you're here. You That's what to. it needs to be done. It needs to be done. Certain other bands, so we might as well do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> no. We're Thank you very much, Anti Clone. Thank you very much. Take care.